Welcome back to Grudge Match and the final grudge of the evening and of the series. What a shame. It's a group grudge between two computer shops in Hull. Hi, I'm Phil. I'm Marcus. I'm Graham. And I'm Dan. And we work here at the Game Station Video Game Store in Hull. And we've got a grudge against our competitors because they don't know the meaning of fair, fair play. I'm Mike Smith and I'm the owner. <laughs> <laughs> we've been here 16 years. They've only been here five minutes, and I think they know it all. It's us that should have a grudge against them, not the other way around. See, they're the ones who undercut everyone. Their prices are ridiculous. They're bad losers on the pitch as well. We played them in a five-a-side tournament, and basically, we beat them. Yes, the keeper beaten there. Great finish. They were supposed to collect a wooden spoon as a consolation prize, but they were having none of it. Blank us in the street, you give us evils in the pub, you're even spreading it around that we're on our way out. Well, enough is enough, Game Station. If you really want to show how good you are, let the games begin. Warmly welcome Phil Marcus, Dan and Graham. And Mike, John, Mark and Paul. What about the events? You've been training hard for them? Really, we don't have to. I mean, just look at those geeks and the old man. It says it for itself, doesn't it? <laughs> town ain't big enough for the both of us. Pack your bags, boys. You're leaving. Well, Let's hear it. This is going to be a great competition for both teams. Go on, go get ready for the first grudge. Dodge and football. OK, Barry gets the dodge and footy underway. Tomorrow's world in blue attacking the goal on your left and gain station in red aiming for the goal on your right. There's a good lob from tomorrow's world. Just hits the post. A good start from the boys in blue. Game station trying to build an attack. The ball cannons round, but the Blues have possession in front of an open goal. One nil. The Blues open their account. The offside trap failed to work because because well, there's no. Barry starts the second session with new drivers in the seats, and the metal work denies the Reds an equaliser. Here's the follow through. Two punch it home. One one. Great goal from Game Station. Nick, tomorrow's world can't control the ball. It falls to Game Station. The crossbar rattles, but the finishing was lethal. Ready, go! Right, third session. It's 1 1. Great first time shot from tomorrow's world. Denied by the upright. An off the line save and desperate clearance by Game Station. The ball's loose. Falls to tomorrow's world, the far corner. And they're consistently effective in attack. Tomorrow's World Carl, the ball, his game station with a shot on goal. Great save. The ball's back in play. Another great save by Tomorrow's World Game Station, putting pressure on the Blues' goal all the time. The Blues give it away again. Here's another strike, carried away in spectacular fashion by Tomorrow's World. But here's another shot. Oh, the Blues defending like demons. But the ball's fallen well for the Reds. They've scored. 2-1 to Game Station. Well, it's worth enjoying that acrobatic goalkeeping from the Blues again. The attacking play relentless. And a desperate last gasp fingertip save was almost enough to keep the Reds at bay. 2-1, here we go. Barry starts the fourth session with new drivers. Good volley from the Reds, but it cracks against the post. The ball back in the game station half and back in play. Oh, a poor clearance and volley straight into the game station goal. 2-2. Two, two. As Barry says, this is the decider. And already the Reds are under pressure, cleared from the goal line. But it's there, tomorrow's world crash home the winner. Three goals to two. Magnificent game, the Blues win. How oh, exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me. Fantastic. Crushed him. No problem. Well, I, I don't know about crushed him, no problem. That was a pretty close run thing, wasn't it? It was jammy and there's still two more events left, so they're still going down anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, as you say, there's still two more events to go. That was brilliant. Let's hear it for the red and blue teams. <laughs> so that's 1-0 to tomorrow's world. <laughs> OK, OK, guys, this game is like water polo. You've got to get the ball through the hoop. And it's the best of three. Jump in. Yeah. Right, these guys are ready for action. As Barry says, to score, they've got to get that giant ball through a hoop. Luckily, the hoops are on the big side as well. Oh. Good defending by the Reds. Tomorrow's world, desperate to show that they're not yesterday's news. 
Barry helps get the ball back in play. Here's Marcus, big single-handed toss. And it's straight through the hoop. A brilliant goal from Marcus. We've just got to see that again. It's a monstrous heave and a pin-perfect shot. Marcus showing flair and vision of an international class. That's a terrific goal. Well done, Reds. Here we are. Go. The ball's back in play. Tomorrow's world needs a goal badly. Oh, and Game Station, what will the hoop work? They've obviously been working on their long game. Right, the ball's back in play, and it spells danger for the Blues. They've got to get a grip of this ball. Come on, guys. And the ball's free in front of the Blues' hoop. Oh, but the Reds fail to press home their advantage. Tomorrow's world under incredible pressure. Oh, and the ball bounces in Game Station's favour. An easy goal for them and a 2-0 whitewash in thrash and splash. <laughs> Terrifically tough game, but the Reds win this time. Well, Game Station took full advantage of that fortunate bounce, the knock-on easily found by their forward, and the finish was simple but effective. And that levels it all up very nicely. It's the last game of the show, it's the last game of the series and it's by far the biggest game of the series. It's also the decider for these guys. It's called Arena Relay. <laughs> Okie dokie, the first leg is the Tarzan swing across the pool. It's Phil of Game Station versus John of Tomorrow's World. Phil leads over the lily pads, touches the net and it's on to the second leg. That means Dan in red can start bursting balloons and now so can Mike. Five balloons must be popped before the next leg of the relay can start. An explosive start to this section. But Mike, bouncing himself along the floor, determined to pull back that deficit. It's 2-2, and Dan for the Reds kicks the blue balloons away. Dan's going to finish this leg in the lead for the Reds. Oh, Mike rolling all over the place in a belly flop from Dan. <laughs> and that means Marcus can haul himself along the Twango slipway. Meanwhile, Mike, for tomorrow's world, is still trying to go bust. Marcus needs to gather as many climbing tiles as he can. Mike's finished off his last balloon, releasing Paul on tomorrow's world's third leg. It's the pull through the phone now to load up with climbing tiles. The Blues are trailing. The more you load up, the fewer journeys you make down the Twango slipway. Paul delivers his tiles to Mark, who will pile them and climb them for tomorrow's world. Marcus loads up for his second delivery, falls back into the frost for his return trip. Now the tiles will build steps up the slope, then it's the first to the top to hit the button to win. Tomorrow's world arriving for another collection, and the Blues pile of tiles is looking very, very good. Out of the bubbles comes Paul, passes them to Mark, who's putting together his stairway to victory. Paul finds his rope and goes for a third batch. There aren't many tiles left, so you've got to nick them from wherever you can. On the upward assembly line, the Blues are doing incredibly well. In fact, they're actually leading now. Mark doing a great job on the slope. What a recovery! Marcus for the Reds is wrecked, and he doesn't fancy another pull down that slipway. No way. But the Blues are losing their advantage by wasting time with a lower tile. What are they doing? And the Reds are nearly there, while the Blues are two tiles short. But the Game Station team wins it! And Mark slithers down the slope to disappear into that phone. What a finish to this soap opera. Victory for Game Station. It's the agony and the ecstasy. Close indeed, but the winners are red. <laughs> Two, one. <laughs> Guys, you did it. <laughs> Graham, I'll shake your hand. You're the captain. You were quietly confident when we chatted earlier on. How do you feel now that it's all behind you? All I can say now is that the new... Don't go away empty-handed. Oh, dear me, no. <laughs> You've got this lovely grudge match wooden spoon to put in your wooden spoon cupboard. There you are. And our thanks. It's been great. Let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen. The ultimate team game. Yeah, big round of applause for the boys. Come on, they've been great.